This is a follow on from the running a three phase motor on single phase by using capacitors. Now there are all sorts of capacitors you get out of fluorescent light fittings. There's this one here which is out of really quite an early uh, light and that is 275 volts AC 7.5 microfarads. Then you get the intermediate sort like that. That is 3.8 microfarads, quite small in microfarads. Then you get the modern ones like this. A lot smaller physically, but 250 volts, 5.5 microfarads. So that's the sort of things you're looking for. Now you take them out of a, a light fitting and you go, well, is it any good? Do we, is there any way we can find out? Well, this is a backwoodsy sort of way of looking at it. You've got to imagine that these are a bit like a battery. They charge up and discharge. But if you put AC into them, you're going positive, negative, positive, negative. They don't get chance to charge up. They'll absorb and discharge. So the way to test it really would be with DC. To that end, what we've got here is two 12 volt batteries, car batteries, in series, giving 24 volts. Actually about 25 and a half volts. The positive comes around here, that's the positive. The negative goes through two indicator bulbs. Now those two indicator bulbs do two things. One, they're a resistance so we don't get a lots of current flowing if we short things out. Like this is a dead short and if it was dead short across the batteries there'd be big sparks and smoke and all sorts of things. But the light bulbs just come on. So that's good enough. Um, and the second thing, it shows that current is flowing. So let's just have a go. Let's try this big one here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to have the meter going. What should happen once we disconnect the power is that the reading should go down slowly. A lot of these capacitors have got what's called bleed resistors in them to stop um, them keeping a charge in themselves. So, And I'll show you the reason why keeping a charge is bad news uh, later on. So I think we're there, uh, negative through there, positive, meters connected, contact, that meter should show 25 point something now, disconnect, and it's going down. So I'd say, with that backwoodsy test, that that capacitor would do the job. Thing is, you don't want to put a capacitor on your three phase converter that's a dead short. That would be bad news. Right, let's try this one. This is the modern version. Disconnect and you can see the voltage going down. Yeah, that's fine. So we we'll disconnect that. So as you can see, they absorb the DC and then when you disconnect the DC, they flatten themselves. Right, now then, this is a DC capacitor. Okay, and I'll show you a photo of this, but it shows uh, 220,000 microfarads at 25 volts DC. Max surge 30 volts DC. So there you go. Let's connect this up. That's the negative. Negative goes there. Let's just flatten it. Right. That's the negative. Negative goes there. And that goes there. Okay, positive. 
Now we want to be able to disconnect this positive side, so we'll just go there. Okay, now those bulbs should light up. There we go. That's the current going in. Okay. And it's going down slowly. But let me just show you what happens. Bear in mind this is only 25 volts. See that? Big spark. Big spark. That's it. So, imagine if you've got a capacitor with 250 volts DC in there and it hasn't got a bleed resistor on it. And you stick your fingers across that, you're in a bit of serious pain. Also, did you notice that bits of m melted metal flying everywhere? They're not very, very good for your eyes, apparently. So, here's a big capacitor. 50 microfarads, 275 volts AC. Let's see what this does. Negative to negative. You notice how I add those shorter together? That's the best way to keep capacitors. That way they are flat. Right, let's stick the negative in there somehow. That'll do. Okay. Put that on there and dab that on there. 50 microfarads, so it's not drawing a lot. But remove the uh, the power. And it virtually stays there because there's no bleed resistor. So again, did you hear that? So, so test the capacitors that you want to use on your three-phase converter with a pair of batteries. You can use one battery just to see that it absorbs and keeps the charge or self discharges slowly through the bleed resistor. Some of these actually say contains bleed resistor, but this one doesn't. But of course when they're connected uh, using uh, for a three phase conversion, they're connected directly across the coils of the motor anyway, so the motor uh, flattens, the motor coils flatten the capacitor instantly it's disconnected from the mains. The DC ones, they've got a positive and they say DC, don't, don't mess with them. That's for other jobs.